The decision by the IGG Raphael Baku to charge former Vice President Gilbert Bukenya with fraud and abuse of office at the anti-corruption court out of so many other high-profile suspects has not gone down well with the public. The IGG quickly followed this by clearing Prime Minister Amama Mbabazi of wrongdoing in the Chogam financial scams. This morning, some MPs accused Baku of selective prosecution. Why did you choose only one person to be prosecuted? But let us be fair. Let us call all the people and let us prosecute everyone. Let us not choose one person. You see the vice president is in the dock, but the people who are, who are involved in such scenarios are just being cleared left and right, left and right. Mr. Baku, please come out and stop selective prosecution and you prosecute everyone. We would like to know what the President Seven owns, what Janet owns, what Mbabazi owns, what Richamzi owns. Why don't you answer that? We are calling upon the IGG to be absolutely transparent. Otherwise, this issue of corruption is going to become a necessary evil. But Baku dismissed the accusations. Selective prosecution is inevitable because you cannot, you cannot prosecute indiscriminately. I can't conduct indiscriminate prosecution of everybody against whom a finger has been raised. Otherwise, what kind of prosecution is it going to be? His counterpart, the head of anti-corruption commission of Kenya, Professor Patrick Lumumba, said sometimes it is necessary to prosecute such high-profile people as a deterrent to others not to tamper with taxpayers' money. Whose prosecution would have the greatest impact if there was a conviction? And therefore you choose the person whose successful prosecution would have the greatest impact and you use the others as witnesses in the process. Because if you jail the kingpin, then it sends a loud message not only to the nation, but to others who are lesser than him, that it is those who pay the piper who must be punished. After his paper, Professor Lumumba received a standing ovation from the MPs who completed a one-week induction course today.